It wasn't just the fall of what had been the rebel stronghold of Kuzair that has brought a new urgency to the West's approach to the Syrian war. It was the way it fell, to an assault spearheaded by these fighters from the Lebanese militia Hezbollah. The Syrian regime denies the allegations about the use of chemical weapons, but the success of its current offensive is clear. In Beirut, Hezbollah supporters watched the latest TV address by Hassan Nasrallah, their leader, a key ally of Shia Muslim Iran, self-declared enemy of the US, Israel, and Sunni Muslim extremists, and now a major force in the Syrian war. Hezbollah, he said, would keep fighting in Syria to protect what he called its backbone, the Assad regime. The strategic ramifications are very big and huge, you know. It gave the regime this momentum and it gave the regime this uh, psychological, uh, you know, um, uh, push. That's why the Americans want to change the game to end the era of homemade weapons for the rebels they judge it's safe to support. As well as what they've made themselves, this factory is in a suburb of Damascus, the rebels have had light weapons from Saudi Arabia and Qatar. Now they're desperate for more firepower to break the regime's new momentum. The credibility of the U.S. is at stake. For two and a half years, all we got from the West and the U.S. was words. So if this is just the same, it won't change anything. The Syrian people will continue the revolution even if they have to fight with their bare hands. But if the Americans do as they say, I believe it will change the balance of power in the region. The Americans believe they can keep their weapons away from these rebels, the Nusra Front, allies of al-Qaeda, and also the most effective rebel fighters in Syria. Instead, the U.S. wants to build up the West's allies in the Free Syria Army. Here in Beirut and across the border in Syria, supporters of the rebels fear the West is still not ready to help them overthrow the Assad regime. It looks peaceful enough here, but the war in Syria is spreading danger right across the region. And there seem to be some inconsistencies in the West's own political strategy. Britain says that the threat of arming the rebels could be enough to persuade the Assad regime to negotiate a transition of power. But it's hard to see how that would be enough to persuade the president to sacrifice himself and his regime at a time when his forces right now are doing well on the battlefield, backed by Iran, Russia and Hezbollah. Jeremy Bowen, BBC News, Beirut.